Hey there you guys, today I'm doing a review for Morning Glories Volume 5. So this volume is basically supposed to be the premiere of Season 2. It's supposed to be kind of a good jumping off point for new readers. But when you start reading it, you finally realize that it's really not. It's really a continuation of the Tron story arc. This arc being known as Tess. Here we find that Casey has kind of been dressing up as Georgina for the last few weeks. And she's been pretending to be the headmistress of the school. With the help of Laura Hodge while going to cover. Through this, she, uh, she meets up with her father and they have this kind of emotional moment. We also want to see before this that she does go on a date with Abraham. And... She kind of like blows him off at first and says, oh, you're too young for me or whatnot. And which, of course, leads to the scene where she does dress up as Georgina and kind of goes on a little mission or whatnot as the head mistress of, mistress of the school. And it leads to a bunch of different events happening, including one between Hunter, who really is the best character in this um, series. Like kind of like this. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, this right here. Look how beautiful this art is, by the way. It's really gorgeous. And you sometimes can see Laura right over here. And Casey right over here. And it's this really nice scene with the um, back in where she has to like kind of like make a choice to go through it or not. It's really interesting. Um. I see, like, how Hunter, Hunter comes in. You do get to see Hunter also, like, kind of come in and try to, like, help her in, like, making this choice and kind of, like, save her from this better future she's trying to um, kind of create. Um, as you can tell, the art in this book is gorgeous. One of my one things that kind of drew me to Morning Glories in the first place was the how beautiful and gorgeous the art looked. And... Made it a lot more fun to read as well, despite all the confusing storylines that keep going on throughout it. So overall, I really enjoyed this book. Um, not the best book, probably. Hopefully, we kind of tie everything up together better as the series goes on. But I'm definitely not going to drop it anytime soon. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this review of Morning Glories Volume 5. And please subscribe. Thank you.